Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Today we're learning how to poach eggs. Now the first rule of thumb is fresh eggs poach better than older ones because their whites and egg yolks are tighter and therefore they retain their shape better while cooking. There's two ways to figure out freshness. First, here in the US, we have the Julian date, which is three, a three digit number on the side of the carton. This represents the number of calendar days starting on January 1st, since the egg was cleaned and packaged. So this number here is 062, meaning the eggs were cleaned and packaged on the 62nd day of the year. The higher the number, the fresher the eggs. Today is March 28th and they were packaged on about March 3rd-ish. So there are 25 days fresh. Your other option for testing freshness is to gently drop the egg into a glass of water and see what it does. If it sinks to the bottom, it's fresh. If it floats, it's not fresh. If it stands upright but stands on the bottom, it's kind of fresh. That's what my egg is doing here. The next key to foolproof poached eggs is a fine mesh strainer. Crack your egg into the strainer and let the loose whites drain away. This is the part that makes those wispy white legs we're hoping to avoid. It can take up to a minute for all the loose whites to drain away. In the meantime, heat some water on the stovetop to a sub simmer. The water should quiver, but not boil. If you have an instant read thermometer, it should read 180 degrees. We'll lower the egg in the strainer into the water and gently roll it out of the strainer. To make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan, we'll gently roll the egg around with a spoon. It only takes about three to four minutes for the whites to set and the yolk to get hot, but not cooked. So don't walk away, keep a close eye on this. When it's ready, we'll gently remove the egg with a slotted spoon, shake off the extra water and serve it immediately. Now it's time for some sexy egg porn, y'all. Look at that runny yolk. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Now, did you know you can poach your eggs a few days in advance? Oh yeah, they're good for up to five days. So you can do this for a brunch party or even just to prep your meals for the week. Here's how we poach multiple eggs at once and then save them. Strain each egg individually and put them all in one bowl. Here are my three eggs and you can see how they separate from each other. We'll drop them into the water one at a time so they cook separately and gently roll each one around to shape the white and to keep them from sticking to the bottom of the pan. This one egg is doing something quite odd. The white is poking out of the water, kind of like a submarine scope, letting its free flag fly, I suppose. Anyhow, after three and a half to four minutes later, they should be ready to go. If you're saving them for later, transfer them to a bowl of very cold water. Straight from the faucet is fine, but you can put a couple ice cubes in there to help. Let them cool down completely and then transfer the eggs to a storage container cover them with water, and then leave them in the fridge for up to five days. When you wanna reheat them, just use the hot water from your faucet. Let it get as hot as possible, or about 140 degrees. Heating the water on the stove top could cook them even more, and we don't want that. Set the eggs in a bowl of the steaming water and leave them for just a, two minutes, like a couple of minutes. That should heat them enough to make it to the table. You may need to keep adding hot water so they are thoroughly reheated. Then transfer the eggs to a paper towel and gently blot them with another paper towel to remove the excess water and then serve. Now I love mine in a small bowl with some olive oil, some cracked pepper and salt, and then I can break the egg, get that yolk going and mix it all up together to scoop up with a piece of toast. Also, if you've ever wondered about the difference between a medium and a large egg, here's a visual. The egg on the left is a medium egg, and the one on the right is a large egg. If you want to learn more about cooking eggs, I've got an egg-specific video course that teaches you all the common cooking methods. Poaching, frying, scramble, omelet, boiled, frittata and more. So click on the egg graphic for more information. Subscribe to this channel by clicking on my photo. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and thanks for watching.